some more save the world hey listen i mean someone's got to save it it might as well be me and today we're doing some more into the storm missions uh today we gotta actually find some telescopes and take the lenses off of them because lars needs them god only knows what he needs them for but he needs them and he really really is upset right now he's up flying around in his van somewhere and his vital signs are looking really badly so uh he's like sleep deprived he's looking for his friend Rico, I think his name is, who we found out has a 1 in 75 trillion chance of surviving when he got lost in the storm. So not good. So obviously Lars is very upset about this, but I don't know how long these end of the storm missions are going to last. So I'm kind of freaking out, man. I want to get some done. So today we're definitely going to be doing some into the storm missions. See what cool loot we can get. But here, let's search this. So as far, as far as these telescopes go, I've already collected four out of the six needed. Uh, I did those kind of off video and figure we get the couple here and all we got to do is survive six we got to save six survivors and we're in a, like a level 15 zone back in Stonewood so the good thing about these end of the storm missions is it doesn't require you I don't think usually to go to any specific zone so basically you go wherever you want to and just get them done did, did he die oh he's fine he's right there hey one down guys and just a few more to go oh look there's another one right there Let's save him, too. Alrighty, alrighty. Come on, buddy. I got you. Just stay up on top. Don't get smart and try to hop off. Let me handle it from down here. You stay up there, and everything's going to work out. Check out this thing I got. What? This is a fully auto, legendary. Sucks really bad because I have not leveled it up. Uh, neon cyber gun thing. You know, from the Into the Storm missions. I got this for doing an Into the Storm mission uh, that I did off video. But I had, a, I had a choice. I can get the pistol legendary. I could have gotten the shotgun legendary. Or the AR legendary. And they all were the neon variety. But I went with the AR. Because I already had an epic one of these that I'm shooting right now. And I said, why not? Let's just get the legendary version of it. And retire the other one in my collection book. So that's what I did. I think it was a good choice because I don't ever use the pistol. And I already have the shotgun. So... I think that was the right choice. Now, if I get a chance to get the pistol again, I will take it. But for now, I think the AR was the right choice. But it does kind of suck right now. So we're not probably going to be playing with that too much. I just wanted to show it to you really quick. So that's two survivors done already. Let's go find some more. Have you guys seen any telescopes, by the way, at all? Because I have not. Usually when you get close to one, what will happen on the mini-map up there is we'll get an exclamation mark. So once we start seeing some exclamation marks then we know that there is a telescope and we could go get the lens off of it and hopefully complete this mission in this zone without having to do multiple zones which i've like i said i already collected four out of six so i'm pretty sure we're gonna get two here or four out of whatever whatever however many i needed i think i only need two more i can't remember how many you actually need i'm pretty sure we only need two more we'll find them they're around here somewhere gang if you guys are enjoying these Fortnite save the world videos as much as you say you are let's get some likes let's go for a like goal of 500 on today's video i usually don't do like goals but i did notice that a lot of people are watching these but no one's leaving likes and it takes one second and it really helps me out as a creator it lets youtube know that people really enjoy my content and then so they'll start recommending uh and putting these in the recommended section so more people come to the channel it will thus motivate me even more to continue making these fun episodes of Save the World. Trust me, they're not going anywhere whether you hit the like button or not. Or that's just between me and you. But if you want to hit it, that would be so helpful. Thank you guys very, very, very much. Hey, there we go. Boom. So now we can just focus on getting the rest of the survivors saved. And then we can get out of here. There's a survivor over here, though. I just noticed I passed one up. But where is he? Run! I got you. Where is she? There she is. I got you, sweetheart. No one's going to bother you. <laughs> he really doesn't like lampposts. Look at him. He was fighting the lamppost. There you go. So that is number three. Out of, or is that number four now? That's three out of the six. Okay. So a couple more survivors. They should be easy enough to find. A lot of times I'll just go around the border of the outside of the map and you'll find them on top of like RVs and stuff. But there's plenty in the towns and cities and stuff too. Uh, whatever zone you're in. Yeah, there's another one somewhere. Where though? Where, where, where? Over here, over here, over here. It said another survivor can be heard, but I don't hear him. Oh, right above me. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm out of wood, so I'm kind of wasting brick right now. I might need to get some wood here in a minute because all my builds so far are wasting my brick. 
Although, can you really waste brick when you have almost 2,000 of it? Probably not. Well, she's upstairs. Let's go get her. I hear a zombie snoring somewhere, too. I want to be careful for that. Uh, are you on the roof? She's on the roof, actually. But while we're in the house, why don't take, take a look, see what we got in here. Um, You know what? We can search this stuff. There's always, like, good stuff in here for crafting, so might as well get a little bit. There's some baking. Apparently, bacon will now be found in larger quantities. So you'll get bigger, you'll get more bacon every time you find bacon, I'm guessing is what they mean by that. Seems to make sense. Let's get that. Search the bunk bed, too. What are you going to find in a bunk bed? Well, apparently you're going to find rusty mechanical parts. That poor child is sleeping on top of rusty mechanical parts. And this always cracks me up. If it'll let me search the toilet, it won't. But almost every time in a toilet you find bacon, which is disgusting if you think about it. It's really gross. All right, let's go on the roof. There's a survivor up here. I'm sure of it. Let's get up here. Um, no, there's not. Oh, yes, there is. There you are. Hey. Hey. Thank you. You're welcome. I was getting worried. Oh, shelter location ask. discovered. That's a daily mission, apparently. So if we can find eight, eight shelters, then we get something for doing our daily mission, which is usually 50 V-Bucks, and usually sometimes accompanied by some um, of those Illuminati coins, as I like to call them, even though that's clearly probably not what they are. But that's what I like to call them. Hey, let's see what's down in this cave. There is no cave. All right, I'm going to get on the hoverboard. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, is there another survivor up here? Stop it, game. Where? Did I... Oh, does this one need something? Hang on, I didn't even pay attention. Hang on. What am I building right now? Lagging, please. Work it out, man. What do you need? Did I not rescue you? You need a medical kit, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Yes, there is a magnification glass on the map right now. So, in, inside this grid, you've seen this before. We're going to find a med kit somewhere in this grid. I'll find it. Don't worry. And if then putting a grid up isn't enough help for you, you also have like a beacon that starts going off when you get close to it. Where did you all come from? Bunch of level 15 guys, eh? This will be cool. This will be number four out of six. We'll still have half the time left. And we've already got our telescopes. So pretty chill into the store mission today. So we're going to take a look more in depth at some of the Into the Storm prizes that are going to be coming up and how many more missions we have until we have concluded the Into the Storm uh, event after we're done with the zone. So stay tuned for that. There's actually some really cool stuff coming up. One very special prize I cannot wait to get my hands on. So you're definitely going to want to be checking that out. Where is this med kit at now that I've killed all the husks? There it is. See that little beacon, that little radar that shows up? That's pretty cool. Boop, got it. All right, let's roll back to the survivor. She's on a roof somewhere. Nearby, over here, over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I still haven't gotten any wood. It's fine. I maintain that it's not wasting when you have this much brick. It's all good. Hey, there you go, bud. So we need to find, uh, how many? Two more, I think it is. Yo, why are there so many husks? Would you guys leave me alone, please? Please, I said. I even said please. All right, any survivors in this house? Hello, coming through, looking for survivors. Scream if you hear my voice, and I will come save you. All right, definitely onto the hoverboard now. Oh, there might be, there's sometimes some by these tents. Yep, just spawned in. Did you see that, guys? Let's take out the shotgun. We're gonna need some close range damage for this one. She's gonna be running for her life. Actually, you know what? Let's not, let's not even take a chance. Let's drop some bombs. Saved, done. Easiest way of doing it. Also, guys, I've got a new gadget, which is the proximity mine. Unlocked it in the skill tree number two. So we're gonna take a look at that here in a minute. In fact, next time we get a big horde chasing us, let's put on a proximity mine, see exactly how it works. I imagine it's kind of like the eggs from your Easter egg launcher. Once they get close to it, they're gonna blow up. Seems pretty obvious that that's what it would be. Oh, you take that. And you take that. We need one more survivor. And then we just gotta wait to be extracted, which will give me some time to go around and just collect some stuff, some nuts and bolts, all kind of crafting stuff. If I could find some loot treasures, that would be nice. Um, but yeah, I don't mind the extra time before I get extracted. And we can save extra survivors for more points too, I think. Proximity mine game? Let's just put one down right here. Okay, well, they're not gonna, oh, okay. So they gotta walk in the zone. You go through a little animation to lay it down too, and you can actually see the grid that it works in, but the second you hit left on the D-pad, 
your guy stops and puts it down right there. So make sure you're in the right spot before you place it. I didn't know that. So I kind of placed it away from the car thinking I could pull it out, walk it to where I wanted to go, and then place it. But that didn't work. Uh, pretty neat. Definitely prefer my little rocket buddy, though. The one that flies around or hovers in the same spot and just targets the enemies. I prefer him so far. And the, the, the drop rocket cluster you do is also good. Those are my two favorite, I think. All right, so that's six out of six. We done? We done with that? We're about to be extracted, but I want to show you guys this ridiculous pistol I just got from a chest. All right, it's an epic, and the thing spins up like a minigun before it shoots. Watch this. Hang on, let's get over here. It's like a little handheld minigun. Watch it spin up. There it goes, and then look at it go, man. It's, look at the rate of fire. It's ridiculous. How long is that reload? Eh, not too bad. Don't you run down there. Don't you. You're not running from this, zombies. I've got like a handheld minigun. This is crazy. Are you saved now? I'll save you. Bonus survivor, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. Oh, also, before we get extracted, I want to show you guys something really cool that I've been noticing lately. Because I always am like on the perimeter of the map trying to find some more crystal in some of these little small caves outside. But on every zone so far, I've noticed there's always one of these cool little tiny caves that you have to build down to. There's nothing under this ramp. So you kinda gotta look over the edge from time to time. If you can find one of these, there's usually good stuff in it. And I just cleared it out and it had some crystal, which is what I was looking for, and some copper um, as well. But sometimes you can find chests down in here too. So just keep an eye out for that little tip for you guys that are just starting out and might not know about that. Just a heads up. What a horrible chest we got, a level three loot chest for that. But I'll take rewards whenever I can get them. So we got a little bit of XP, great. And some gizmo gasmo things and 44 spring it on gold, which is always cool with me. So here is our Into the Storm quest complete, I spy. And we should get some tickets. Yeah, 500 tickets for that. So that's really good. Don't have enough for a loot llama yet, but still, Getting close. Okay, so this is our Into the Storm um, event page right here. We're on page four out of five, so we've already completed three full pages of Into the Storm events. We just finished I Spy, so we've got another one we're gonna be doing in a minute, but I wanna take you backwards so you can see Stars, man, that's the mission I did off video, and that rewarded me with the option of one of those three legendary guns right there, which is where I got the legendary assault rifle neon thing, which is awesome, but also kind of horrible for now. And if we just take a sneak peek ahead, the very last mission on Event 5. We're like five missions away from finishing the Into the Storm stuff. But look what we're going to get. We're going to get the option of any of one of those legendaries that we want. So the Outlander, the Ninja, the Constructor, or the Commando. Is that what they call those guys? I think so. Commando. But you guys know what I've been wanting for a long time. And that is a legendary Ninja. And there she is is and we are so close to getting her i'm so happy so speaking of not having enough tickets for an awesome into the storm loot llama we're gonna fix that right now by jumping into our next into the storm event called what's a payphone the hover fleet is calling back track down payphones to collect their reports found in urban suburban and industrial zones so those cool smart hoverboards we sent out are sending us a report of what they've found so maybe we're closer to helping lars find his friend but we gotta find these public play phones, pay phones, seven of them. And it doesn't say that we have to go in a specific zone. So another easy zone. Although the last one wasn't like the easiest zone. But we'll kinda we'll kinda go down a couple of notches and have some fun with the sword and ninja, I think, next, while we're trying to find these pay phones. By the way, when's the last time you guys have seen a pay phone anywhere? So Oh, I hear one. Wait, a hoverboard. Hello, hoverboard, it's me, ninja. Epic ninja. There she goes, seven. One out of seven. All right, cool, cool. Well, that was easy. We found one. But when's the last time anybody's seen a payphone anywhere? I haven't seen one in years. Hey, there's another one over here. Wow, this might be super easy. But every time I think it's going to be, like, super easy to find these collectibles, they put, like, four or five out of seven in a zone. Then you got to go to another zone and find the rest of them, which kind of sucks. But hopefully we'll find seven in the zone. Look, another one. It's our lucky day. Found another one. This will be number four now. Wow, we are flying through these. Three more to find. Fingers crossed that they put three more payphones in this zone, though. So I think that I can change the rarity of my ninja, that this current ninja that I've been working on, to an actual... Hang on, is this a loot llama? I think it might be. No, it's just a shard. Oh, yeah, wait, I'm not an outlander. What am I doing? Um... I think I could change the rarity of my ninja from an epic to a legendary. Unfortunately, I think that needs to be unlocked in the skill tree first, and I don't see it anywhere in skill tree number two. So, when it comes time to choose 
between the legendary that I'm going to be getting for completing the Into the Storm missions, I'm definitely going with the ninja. And then later on, you know, we can, we can upgrade whoever we want to whenever we want to. But for now, this is the easiest way for me to finally get an epic ninja. And then all of my dreams will be complete. Are you guarding a big safe over here? Get away from that. That's for me. That's for me. Let's see what's in this thing. Oh, I also went ahead and brought that really cool pistol again because it's too funny. And I wanted to use it for the defense. So this is a balloon defense. Hey, look at this. This is a balloon, de balloon defense mission, which should be pretty easy. I'm in a zone five. Now keep in mind, I go to these smaller zones to pretty much fly through these uh, missions that don't require you to go through a large zone. But if you want to launch with a public party or maybe you've got some friends you want to play with and you want to go together and go do these on higher missions, it's probably better because the rewards for completing the higher missions are way, way better. Hey, there's a glow up in that bedroom. Don't think I didn't see that. We're going up there right now, guys. I think there might be a chest in here and someone's holding out on me. And I want it. Or it could just be a nightlight. No, it's a chest. I hear it. I hear it. Hey, hey, hey. Chest finder. Lagging. Back at it again. But I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous about the other two. Or three, is it? Maybe two. Two or three more of these telephones. Because so far, I'm not seeing any more. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, we need to go up to the northern part of town on this street right here, actually. Let's go up north here and see if there's any payphones this way. We haven't quite gone to the edge of the town yet. I don't think we're going to find any out there, though, unfortunately. It would be really weird if we did. Hey, while we're here, though, it's always worth checking the basements, man. It's usually good stuff in basements, and a good sign is when there's zombies guarding the basement. Usually there's even definitely better stuff in there. Hang on. Where are you going? Look, she turns into a shadow ninja, which is really cool. I read it, and I don't remember what the Shadow Ninja does. I want to say, I don't think you turn invisible. I think they still see you, but I think you take less damage when you're in that uh, s state. And there was nothing in here. I'm not believing this. There's got to be something behind this. Uh oh Hey, guys. Take it easy. I think there's something behind this wall. I was right. I didn't even hear it that time. I was just guessing. It was kind of a weird-shaped room. Figured it was going to be. Oh, we got a sword. We can, we can definitely put that in our collection book. Anyways, we were headed this way. To see if there's any more payphones on this end of town. Doesn't look good. Help. No survivor. I'm not helping you. I'm here for payphones and balloon things right now. Not good, guys. Not good for the payphone search. So how about this way? We haven't done that part of town. All the way in the corner here. So there's still hope for at least one, maybe two more telephones down this way. Let's try our staff. There you go. Take that. And I also, like I said, I brought this. This is too fun. We'll use this during the defense. We've got 3,999 bullets for it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there is one. There's one up top. Why is there one up top? Oh, because there's street up here. Okay. Yo, I think this is our last chance for a phone. We're going to have to do another mission if we want to complete this. That's ridiculous. You know, it just occurred to me. We could just hop into the same exact zone that I just completed where I got five out of seven of those phone booths. So I'm back in that same zone now. We're about to collect the seventh one right here, and I'm hoping Ray will chime in and give us some dialogue about what the hoverboards have to report. Everything we need. Cars, pack your van. We're going to the desert. Hoverfleet, I'm pushing an update to make things right in three, two, one. <laughs> Go on. I'll deal with this. All right, looks like they might have found the location of Lars' missing buddy somewhere in the desert. So our next Into the Storm mission should be uh, continuing on with that theme where we're going to go rescue this person, possibly. I don't really know what we're doing, but we're going to do it in the next mission. But for this mission, now that we've gotten all seven done, I just have to complete the zone, which is the balloon drop, which I just completed, but we have to complete it again. So I'm going to bring you guys back when it's time for the balloon drop and we're going to be using the sword and I think this fun little mini gun pistol because it is just a blast. I kind of want the schematic for this now and hopefully I get it eventually because it's fun man. It's a fun one. Look guys, it's the comet that's going to crash into Tilted Towers and blow it all up. That one comet right there has created more clickbait on YouTube since GTA 5 and RP money glitches, right? Am I right? I'm right. So check out my second weapon slot. Those are called the Clingers and they just got added into Fortnite Save the World as well as Battle Royale. They are like a toilet bowl plunger and you throw them, they'll stick to any surface 
or enemy, and then they explode. Let's go ahead and get this balloon out of the sky, and let's start our defense, and finally open a loot lava. It's been a couple episodes, but I definitely am gonna try this clinger out first. This is exciting. So let's see. Let's throw it on this guy. Don't miss. Stuck right to his head. It's timed and then it blows up. Now, how strong are these? Let's see. The one right there. Okay, they don't have a big blast radius, but if we just, like, put these on the wall... Actually, yeah, since they're timed, you can't preset them up, really. You've just got to throw them at stuff. Yeah, these are all right. I mean, I guess these are kind of like any kind of grenade, really, but they're funny. I really like the way they look. Toilet bowl plungers to the face. Hey, guys, would you stop? Now, let's use this for a little bit until it breaks. Durability's almost gone on it. But it's so awesome that I've just got to use it. The only problem with it is you just got to hold down the trigger because the second you let go of the trigger, you have to restart it back up. But it's got like that Gatlin gun kind of thing to it where it has to spin up before it finally starts shooting bullets. So we're just going to blow through the durability on this. We'll switch over to the sword, have a little fun with that. Throw around some of our Chinese... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Japanese Srukin throwing stars because that matters to some people in the comment section. So just call them throwing stars so nobody gets butt hurt anymore. Who cares? I don't. I don't care. I really don't. But I appreciate you educating me a little bit on what's going on around here. They're throwing stars. Plain and simple. I don't care where they came from. But I understand. I understand. Some of us are sensitive to those kind of things, all right? But not all of us. Hey, I brought the proximity bombs again. We'll give those another... Or the uh, proximity landmines. We'll give those a try again. Would you please, guys, with your bones? It's so annoying. It's so annoying. So the reload on this is kind of bad. And the fact that you can't, like, stop and then start shooting immediately again is kind of bad. But, that being said, I really want a schematic for this gun. This is the first time I've used a pistol. And I'm doing finger quotes there. It's in the pistol category. It's like a fully automatic pistol. It's just really cool. I like it a lot. In fact, let's switch over to the sword now because I'm done. Actually, you know what else? I got something else that was pretty interesting that I've never used. Bottle rockets. What are we going to do with these? Let's just put them down and see what happens. Do they actually hurt? Huss? Oh, they do! Those are cooler than the freaking clinger. Are you kidding me? It's just a big old mess of... Yo, we got to throw it to a crowd. Here, right there. Okay, that is not how you throw, by the way. That was a horrible example. But look at that. I see you over here. Take a bottle rocket. Take a bottle rocket. I wonder what cool events we can expect this year from Fortnite Save the World. Obviously, I think they would do something summertime themed, which would be really cool. I know this game's pretty much worldwide, right? So I don't think they would just do like a 4th of July thing. I mean, we're the only country that celebrates 4th of July. It's our Independence Day. So it just wouldn't make sense. But I wouldn't mind seeing some 4th of July hero skins would be really cool. Who knows what they've got up their sleeve. And I wasn't playing this back in Christmas and Halloween and stuff. I do know that they had a Halloween event. Because I, I swear I see, like, jack-o'-lanterns around the map sometimes. Like, left over from the Halloween event, I think. Um, so, maybe they've got some of that in store for us. But that would be really cool. I'm really looking forward to see what, how this game develops. What all it has to offer as it goes along. Pretty excited about it. And I'm still loving it. There's nothing... Like, a lot of these missions are kind of the same. But that, it's, it's odd, because normally I would just be like, ugh, that drives me crazy. But it's not driving me crazy at all, because, oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I wanted to lay down the proximity mine thing, but that wasn't going to happen. Oh, there it is. I laid it down. Run! It's going to blow. And it blew. All right, I want to put it right over here in case they get past me. So let's put it here. All right, like a normal person. And do I have more bottle rockets? I do. These are great, man. I like these better than the clinger. I wish I had more clingers, though. Uh, but yeah, they just kind of blow up, don't they, the clingers? So you just use them, you throw them, and boom, bam, you're done. They're probably more exciting to use in Battle Royale, if I'm being completely honest. But that's a look at them with the latest update. In the latest update, don't know if I mentioned that, you know the anomalies you find around the map, and if you break it, it turns into a bunch of shards. You got to go get the shards. Once you get all the shards, you get rewarded with four blue glow and some sort of present. They changed it to where... When you break the anomaly and the shards go flying off in different directions, uh, now you can go up to the shards and instead of having to break the shards, which we were having to do with our pickaxe, uh, you can now just collect them. You just go up and you collect them by hitting the square button on PS4 and that's it. I don't really know why that's a change, why that needed to be changed. It's kind of a weird change, but that was something that was added in the latest update. And they announced that there is going to be a rocket launcher neon 
Like, uh, just like my sword, just like my, um, guns that are neon and stuff. But there's gonna be a rocket launcher. However, that won't be available until May 25th. We gotta wait a whole month for that. I don't know why they announced it so early, but apparently we have to wait a month for that if I read that correctly. And just some fixes here and there, but I'm pretty sure that's about the main of the latest update in news for Fortnite Save the World. Let's use a smoke bomb. These are fun. So if they walk in that, they take a lot of damage. Plus, they slow down. But if I was playing with somebody else and they were a little bit injured, missing some health, if they walk in my smoke bomb, they get healed up, man. So the smoke bombs are awesome. Multi-purposed smoke bombs. And of course, my Chinese throwing stars are getting stronger and stronger every day that goes by. Every single day that goes by. Another bottle rocket. Why not? Get all these little guys. Or none of them. Or get none of them with it. Come on, Bottle Rockets, I was talking good about you. You gonna do me like that now? You gonna do me like that? Yeah, you're not killing the little guys, though. They're too close to the ground for the Bottle Rockets. Ow, bees. Always with the bee. Whoa! That was weird. I threw my throwing stars, but they kept hitting invisible metal in front of me. They're doing it again! Why are they doing that? I don't know what's causing them to do that. Let's try again. It has something to do with this gun in my hand. Guarantee. Let's take the gun out of our hand. Yeah, now they work just fine. So maybe I've never noticed that before. Maybe you can't throw throwing stars with a gun in your hand. Don't think I've ever tried, actually, so I don't know. I'm sure I've tried. That must be a glitch. Must be a glitch. We got a minute and a half before the balloon that has landed finishes transferring all of its lovely storm data into our data bank so we can learn more and more about the storm. I think that's what it's doing. I have no idea. And you guys are going to get a little bit of the smoke. There you go, you boys enjoy that? That was just for you. I don't think so. I don't think so. I started playing God of War over on my Twitch streams. If you are a fan of that and are interested in God of War, make sure you follow me over on Twitch. The link is down below in the description as well as my Twitter. And that's probably about it. And all my sponsors as well. So if you ever want to save money on some G Fuel or you want to get your hands on some scuffs for a discount or some control freaks, all of my discount codes are down below. Plus, got an announcement coming up with a new partnership that I have with a very, 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 very popular gaming brand within the industry. We'll have more on that in the upcoming week, I believe. The deal is finalized, so you wait for that one. I'll make a video on that one. Boom, bam! Oh, missed them all. Okay. I thought really we were going to do a lot of damage there. Here, this ought to do some damage. I mean, proximity mine's cool. It's just not cool enough for me. I'm switching back to my rocket buddy after uh, after this video. So, episode 22, we'll probably be right back to our rocket buddy. I try to try out all the gadgets. I also have this banner thing that I've been meaning to try out that's a gadget. Uh, but I haven't tried it out yet on video and really only messed with it for, like, one mission. Um, outside of making a video. So we'll try that out in episode number 22 as well. But finally, we are done. We can get the other 500 into the storm llama tickets and go and open an into the store llama. Well, at least we got a level four chest this time. So let's see what's inside. 440 schematic XP, some survivor XP, and some more spring it on gold. And for finishing the mission and completing our quest, we should get 500. There it is, 500 storm tickets, bada boom, bada bam, and now we can go open a loot llama, finally. All right, what are we getting today? Let's see it, let's see it. I'll take all kind of stuff, all of it. Survivalist Jonesy, Uncommon Survivor, Uncommon Schematic. We got ourselves a trap, we got some team XP, we got ourselves a rake, we got ourselves an outlander that is of rare variety, but one of the new ones, which is cool. And we got that uh, neon Sith, which is an epic, or Scythe, which is an epic, and we got ourselves an epic shotgun. So I want to see if we actually already have this right here. So no, we didn't have the epic version, but we do have the legendary version. So I'm actually going to head over to my collection book and go ahead and retire this and see if we can get a cool reward. So this is the collection book. It's really easy to understand. There is a uh, blue bar in the top left corner that shows you your progress. When you get that blue bar all the way to the right, you're gonna get whatever rewards in the box there. It looks like I'm gonna get four items out of a chest. And uh, let's see how much we get for, oh, I've already retired it. Are you kidding me? I already retired one, so never mind. 
Man, we've gotten a bunch of these. I've retired a legendary and an epic of those. Oh well. I'm not getting rid of my sword because I don't have a backup legendary. But as soon as I get a backup legendary, I can retire it. But anyways, this is a great way to get extra rewards in the game. So I would, uh, if you're new at the game and you didn't realize this was here, you just retire stuff. Make sure you have doubles, triples before you start retiring stuff because you never know when you're going to need it. You also have defenders you want to keep in mind when you're retiring the stuff. Just because you already have one good gun, maybe it would be great for a defender to use, etc, etc. Alright guys, Guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Save the World. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. I really would appreciate that. Looks like on our next episode of Save the World, we're going to hop back into, into the Storm event and do this one called Iron Van, where our reward's going to be 100 V-Bucks. And as you can see, I'm running low on V-Bucks, baby. So we need some more V-Bucks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you uh, next time.